We're back with another Boris episode review, and I think it's safe to say that no matter what we're going to be able to do with this week's episode and subsequent future week episodes, there's nothing that they're going to be able to do that's going to be topping what we got over the past couple of weeks with all the great animation, the good fights, the good character moments, and especially last week's episode where we got one of the biggest send-offs for a character in the entirety of the series, not just Borzo, but Naruto and Naruto Shippuden as well. So it was interesting to see what they were going to do, but it was to be expected. What we got is exactly what we were probably supposed to expect we were going to get. It's basically the characters reacting to what happened uh, for the past couple of weeks. Uh, we get the mention of uh, Kurama being gone and there's nothing that they can do about it. And Naruto and Sasuke pretty much losing everything that made them as incredibly powerful as they were. And pretty much after that, it's very weird that in the episode, Borzo suddenly becomes very popular because basically what just ended up happening was they obviously people in the village obviously don't know what's going on and they didn't understand what was going on in the situation. They just assumed that because Naruto was the Hokage, he's the one who kind of dealt with the whole thing by himself. When in fact the matter is, is that he actually had a lot of help from, you know, Sasuke, Boruto, and Kawaki. And Boruto, for some reason, kind of just takes a lot of the credit. Because, like, it's mentioned how he was there and he helped them. And if it wasn't for Boruto, maybe things wouldn't have gone the way that they did. And, you know, uh, because it was Katatsuke who said that. And, he, and although he's not wrong when he says that, it's not entirely accurate as well. Because even though Boruto did some stuff, he didn't really do a whole lot. That was really extremely substantial besides getting in, getting them to the other dimension and then later on fucking bringing Kawaki to the situation at hand and getting them to be able to keep Ishiki from fully reviving and embedding a, a karma seal onto Kawaki's body. And that's kind of it. Other than that, what Boruto ended up doing it was just getting rid of the fucking overpoweredness of past characters of Naruto and Sasuke, and that's pretty much it. The rest of the episode is basically just them reacting to everything, uh, really weird, that's something that happens at the episode, is the episode kind of confronts Sumire and her character, and how she pretty blatantly really likes Boruto, and, you know, they kind of, like, set that up in their relationship, and maybe they're gonna go to a certain direction with that, I have no fucking clue, because I don't really fucking care continuing on with there we got a confirmation of boards was probably going to be out of action between missions like regular ninja missions because now his team team seven is completely suspended from doing any missions because his karma seal is at risk because if he's too low on chakra uh momoshiki can take control with the karma seal at any point and that's pretty much the episode you know just it's the events that happen afterwards with all the fighting and all the action that's been going on. And that's basically what we kind of needed in comparison to what we got. So it's not that it's surprising and it's not even that it's disappointing. Things are things are going to be slow and that, that doesn't surprise me. Next week's episode, maybe there's going to be some interesting stuff there because it's going to be confronting Naruto and the fact of the matter of... Is he going to be properly prepared for uh, the consequences of Boruto still having the Karma Seal and how further it's progressed since he got it? And is he going to be able to take down his son whenever the time may need to come for him to take down his child? Which is obviously a very big important thing. And yeah, you know, just other than that in the episode, in this week's episode at least, we get a couple of other good character moments that were pretty decent, you know, we, we see people acting the way that they do, you know, we get a funny little gag where Boruto is on a fucking new show and that was kind of cute, but other than that, it, that wasn't really anything substantial. It was whatever, you know, what am I really supposed to say about this week's episode? It wasn't horrible because things are going to be slowing down and th th again, that doesn't really surprise me because... That's just what it is. We also get some other stuff that I forgot to mention with Code, and apparently he's like really powerful, but he willingly put a limiter on himself because he's that fucking substantially powerful. Uh, he also has a like false karma seal, and instead of it being black like Kawaki and Boruto's was, it's white, and then he sees like a vision of Ishiki, and that's supposed to put Code on like the right path of where he needs to go in order to 
probably embed another karma seal onto Kawaki, which has to happen because when we see him in the future in the first episode he has his karma seal again so something's gonna have to happen there something's gonna have to happen for kawaki to eventually end up getting his karma seal again and because uh, at any point when kawaki gets a karma seal again he's gonna end eventually end up be you know, becoming and transforming into an ultatsuki because like 80 like percent of his body is an ultatsuki and that's confirmed in the episode by sakura herself and yeah, that's kind of it. And, you know, I kind of said that earlier, but now it's kind of it. I don't really have anything else to say. That's the episode. I don't really have much else to say other than that. I'm really tired because I stayed up all night. So kind of watched this episode, and there's not really a whole lot for me to talk about for right now. So pretty much, I'm going to go ahead and just wrap things up. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Have a fantastic day. I'm out. Peace.